Hey guys, it's Sanjeev from iChatter. Today Google has released its first developer preview for Android N. It's available on certain Nexus devices. This time Google decided not to wait for the Google I/O and uh, release the first developer preview uh, ahead of time, so that when they announce public beta on uh, Google I/O, by the time they would have stashed a lot of bugs already. So let's take a first look of Android N developer preview and see what are the new features which is coming in. Android N brings a lot of changes to settings app. Under accessibility, there is a new settings called display size, which allows you to change your DPI without the need of root. In earlier versions, you needed root to actually change the DPI settings and uh, make sure that you have a more content for your screen size. There is a minimum and maximum value at this point of time, but you can shuffle between those um, through the settings directly. You have a font size also available for you, where you can change the size of a font according to your need. And these settings are available from the Android um, setup screen also, so that while setting up your phone, you can actually make those changes and uh, set up phone correctly as you want. And there is a new foldable suggestion box also available in settings, where Google will prompt you for certain settings which he thinks is useful or uh, you should be accessing right now, and it will ch keep changing based on your uses of the settings app. Under data uses, there is a new setting called data saver, which allows you to enable a system-wide data saving on, so that um, it will restrict some of the calls and uh, not allow every app to actually go in background and uh, use data. This is a good setting if your mobile provider is uh, giving you a limited data pack so you can limit your data uses based on that you can unblock some apps to have them unrestricted data access if you want to have that also another big change is android's native multi window support which can be accessible from the recent um, app menu if you are working on any app and you want to put it in a multi window just click on recent app long press on that app and uh, drag it on top it will start a multi window mode where you can have uh, two apps either side by side or one top of another to work on side by side is available on the landscape mode and uh, on a portrait mode you will have one above the other google has provided an api to include a multi window support in the third party apps and slowly and slowly you will see more and more apps supporting multi windows at this point of time uh, most of the google apps are supporting multi windows and you can actually see multi window in practice with google apps Another good use of multi window is um, suppose you have actually put a one app on multi window and you want another app but it's not there in the recent app you can hit a home button that doesn't end the multi window uh, on top you can still see there is a app which you have put on multi window is still there and you can look for another app which you want to add to a multi window as soon as you click on the other app it will open in a multi window format and will overlay the second app on the multi window mode you can resize the apps open in the multi window mode just drag and drop the divider in uh, any way and the apps will be resized accordingly or you can just uh, drag the divider on top to end the multi window mode the next big change is around the notifications they are now full screen not in the card layout but they actually go edge to edge and uh, will be look more integrated to the system all the notification from a single app will be bundled together shown together and you will have a actions which you can take against those bundles for real time communication apps the android system now supports inline replies so whether you are on a lock screen or inside the system you can directly reply for most of the communications quick settings has also gone through some changes a more room has been added for quick setting tiles where you can have a paginated display area by swiping left and right you have a more control over how the tiles will be displayed uh, you have a edit button where you can click a edit button and just drag and drop what to display what not to display as well as you can reorder the quick settings tiles this is pretty similar to what you are getting with cm13 at this point of time in my earlier review of cm13 on nexus 6p i have gone through in detail with the quick settings tiles looks like now it has been properly integrated with the android n and we don't need any customized rom at this point of time to get this uh, quick settings so those are the main visible features uh, there are certain more under the hood improvements like the dose feature has been improved when uh, you are keeping your phone in the pocket now dose will come into the picture and will save uh, more battery for you i will be doing some more in depth reviews of uh, some of the features which has been added to android n if you would like to get informed about that just subscribe to ichatter or if you like the overview of android n developer preview just hit the like button below Bye.